Hi, my name's Issei Chimura. I play for Trident T1 Dotters for Australia and my gamer tags is Skadu. How did you get involved in esports? I started in Black Ops 1. Um, some people from school introduced me to it. Um, I'm a very competitive person, so when I found out about it, I, I really wanted to get good at it. And um, it was just in my nature to like be really competitive at it, and I got good quite quickly. Um, but in Australia, it's mainly search and destroy orientated, so I didn't play 4v4, uh, which they're playing at this event and other events um, until uh, Black Ops 2. When it comes to the esports scene over in Australia, how does it compare to what we see here in the US? Um, the Australian community is great, but they're very passionate about us and immunity and other top teams. But um, we're, we're quite small. I don't think many people in the public and other other officials know that um, how, how small our community is compared to the NA scene it's ridiculously big and the, the fan base is ridiculous like look at Optic, look at Envy, FaZe like like the players have so much support from um, their fans. Um, in Australia we have support we love it but it's, it doesn't compare to what over, what's, what's over here. What impact do you feel how both Australian teams did here will have on kind of getting you guys noticed out there? Well, I think especially with our performance, um, Immunity, I think, placed uh, top 16. They made it out of their pool. They beat Envy. So they can definitely they can definitely um, compete with the top teams. But um, with our placement with fifth, I think that um, people like didn't really know us. They had no clue about us um, before this event, but now they know about us. So in the future, if we compete at further MLG events or Gfinity or other, other events like this, or next year, Call of Duty Champs, um, people know know about us and they'll see us as a threat, definitely. So I think for Australia, for us to do this well, um, it's going to give a lot of exposure to, to NA in Europe, what, what we've done, and um, possibly bring in more, um, more influence from America and American organisations to um, possibly uh, support Australian um, teams as well for us to compete at MLG. So no, I, I think we've done a pretty good job at um, exposing Australia. What's your favourite match that stands out when you look back at your career thus far? Favourite match? Um, I've got to say the, the match that we had against Rise, um, I clutched uh, 1v2. Um, I, I thought to myself when I was clutching, I, I, I didn't really have the gun for it. I was using a Remington and um, I was in a small area so I knew I had to really like take my time and aim everything up. But uh, I clutched it and it's, it's a great feeling when you do something like that, the adrenaline pumps through and especially if it's a difference between it being 4-4 or 5-4 and you only need one more round to win in the search and destroy, it makes a massive difference. It's very demoralising losing clutches, especially if it's 1v2 or a 1v1 or something like that. So that's probably, that was probably my favourite moment. I, like, I think all of us love clutching it. You get a massive thrill. Yeah. What's your favourite map and why? Um, I'd probably say I've, my favourite map would be um, Sovereign. I think it's just a map that I'm consistently very good at. Um, I don't find myself going bad at it or going negative at all. Um, I think we can play it to, to perfection in Domination and S&D. Um, I don't think we struggle with it at all and we know how to work the map. We know like how people play it. So if it comes down to the crunch like it just did against FaZe, we, we can always pull through. What advice would you give to someone out there who, who's playing that map? What strategy would you suggest? Um, for domination, I'd definitely say controlling, always being around the middle of the map, but also watching uh, bottom comms because that's the way most teams push through, through bottom comms. Um, we call it snake. I think a lot of people will appreciate the word snake. Um, it's, it's what the pro players use, the, the call out. Um, but that, that's probably the main thing you need to do. Rotating from, if you spawn on the other side, you've got to go back around and cover snake. Otherwise, the other team can just push through to your home flag. Um, with s and I think, baiting, baiting people with smokes and breaking glass and things like that because if you break glass that means they're going B because you've got to get out of the glass to go to B-bomb. Um, I think people need to slow it down because getting picks or splitting up so two, two pushing each bomb site works as well. Um, but you definitely need a lot of um, uh, cover, cover at B especially if you're planning because a lot of teams use uh, light machine guns and armour piercing rounds so it's quite easy to die while planning B so you always need someone covering you and you need trophy systems and things like that.